Hi, welcome to another video. If you are an avid watcher of my channel, you'll know that I like self-hosting. I mean, that's the reason why I have covered a ton of open source software that you can self-host, be it AI or any other tool. I prefer being free from proprietary software because it costs less and allows me to switch over whenever I want without being stuck in a walled garden. I especially don't like the services that claim to save you money, but instead charge you much more than you should be paying. Major companies in this category include Vercel, Cloudflare, and other such serverless companies. I don't like the term serverless. Serverless is a myth perpetuated to benefit hosting companies financially. Most developers claim you can scale with serverless, which is true, but with great scaling comes great bills. This might be fine for a well-funded startup, but if you are a small startup, you might end up with exorbitant costs. If your software is paywalled, scaling is manageable because you know how many people are subscribing, allowing you to scale your servers manually. However, if your software is not paywalled and it goes viral, you'll be hit with hefty bills, which you wouldn't want to cover. For people like us, hosting on a VPS is much better. You know what you're going to be charged, what your server is capable of, and you can even scale manually if needed. This is why I have made multiple videos on making self-hosting seamless with tools like Coolify and many of you appreciate these videos. But why am I telling you all this? Recently, two incidents occurred that prove my point. Let's go chronologically and cover both issues. The first one involves a Cloudflare user, and the second one involves a Vercel user. Firstly, here's an article recently published by a Cloudflare user. We've been on the Cloudflare business plan for years. They suddenly contacted us and asked us to either pay $120,000 upfront for one year of enterprise within 24 hours, or they would take down all our domains. This escalated our business issues. We had three sales calls with them, trying to reach a reasonable contract in a week. When we told them we were also in talks with Fastly, they purged all our domains causing huge downtime in our core business, sleepless nights migrating away from Cloudflare, irreparable loss in customer trust, and weeks of ongoing downtime in our internal systems. This was the TLDR from the user's blog post. The user also shared all the email trails and other communications with Cloudflare. Now, let me tell you about the next incident with a Versal user. This person who used Versal thinking it would only cost a couple of hundred bucks a month, was recently hit with a $96,000 bill. They owned an app called Kara App, which only allows human-generated art to be uploaded, filtering out AI-generated art. This app recently went viral and reached the top five in the Apple App Store. But as it went viral, the person received this unexpected $96,000 bill. What do these incidents tell us? They highlight how relying on serverless services for even the smallest tasks can lead to significant financial risks. Unless you are an extremely big company with direct relations with top executives like Jeff Bezos, you should not trust a serverless service. Small startups or bootstrapped side businesses should opt for the good old VPS route. This allows you to control your costs, manage your server's performance, and switch to a different VPS easily if needed. Companies like Cloudflare and Vercel won't be able to threaten you for money this way. And remember, companies like Vercel are essentially just fancy wrappers for AWS. Most of us can use tools like Coolify, SST, and others to directly deploy to AWS instead of dealing with these intermediary companies. I have several videos on my channel explaining how you can use Coolify, Docploy, and other tools to host easily on VPS. 
Vercel only upcharges you for simple AWS services, which doesn't make sense to me. Recently, they rebranded AWS Lambda functions, claiming they were faster than the original AWS Lambda, which is illogical. When confronted with proof that their service was actually slower, they refused to admit it and claimed the test was faulty. It's just dummy behavior. Overall, there's still time. Switch from Vercel and Cloudflare to a much simpler, safer, and easier alternative. You don't need serverless for your small project. Otherwise, you could get hit with a huge bill at any time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.